In this question we are asked to apply the Hardy-Weinberg equation to find out the percentage of butterflies in a population that are heterozygotes and that are also those who are homozygous dominant. We know that the uh, color brown is dominant over the color white and we have given a percentage of the butterflies that are white. So we can write our Hardy-Weinberg expression, we can write this as p plus q um, squared and let's say p is the dominant allele, so that would be brown, and q would be the um, recessive allele, so let's say this is the white one. Uh, so therefore uh, what we can formulate, we know that p plus q together gives uh, 1. So we can write this as basically pp plus 2 pq plus qq. And this here these butterflies would be white and the others would be brown because brown is dominant. And we know that this here is 26% or 0.26. Now we can very easily calculate uh, what is Q, what is the frequency of the white allele, Q is just simply the square root of 26% of 0 0.26 and that would be um, 0 0.26 square root of that, that would be just uh, a little bit under 51%. So that's 51%. We now can also calculate very easily the value for the brown allele because we know that P plus Q together is 100%. So P therefore is 100% minus 51% minus the Q equals 49%. So that's the frequency of the brown allele. Now uh, if we want to figure out what is the uh, percentage of the butterflies that are heterozygote, so we know the heterozygotes are these here, so that would be 2 times pq and that would be 2 times 0 0.49 times 0 0.51, so 2 times p times q and that gives us 2 times 0.49 times 0.51 and that gives us pretty close to 50%. And now we can also calculate what is the frequency when we have the homozygous dominant individuals, so that would be PP, so that would be our 49% 0 0.49 times 0 0.49 and that gives us 0.49 squared. This gives us roughly 24%. So what we have uh, for this is we have our homozygote dominant are 24%, our 
heterozygotes are roughly 50% and our white hetero uh, our recessive uh, homozygotes are 26% and we can do a quick check 24 plus 50 plus 26 that gives us 100% so that no from this we know that we have done everything right. So I hope this makes sense and thank you very much for watching.